headlines. Representatives of all political parties and leaders of CSOs resolved to protect integrity of Manipur. Ex-Chief Minister Oibobi demands disclosure of framework agreement publicly to avoid another June 18. And unidentified rebels ambush AR personnel near IC village in Kamjong district. Good evening and welcome to ASTV English News. I'm Monica Mengbam with the news in detail. A special meeting of political parties, civil society organizations and other stakeholders resolved to share differences and go hand in hand in protecting the territorial integrity of Manipur. The meeting was jointly organized by AMUKO, UCM and CCSK at Manipur Press Club. The meeting also reaffirmed the resolutions taken in open dialogue in the possible outcome of the framework agreement held on November 18. It was also resolved that all political parties must respect and honor the sentiment of the people of Manipur in any measure taken up on framework agreement. The meeting also asked political parties to put pressure on their national leaders against any negative outcome of the agreement. Various civil society organizations will also go to Delhi to meet central leaders on the issue and simultaneously hold a awareness campaign on framework agreement. Representatives of 11 political parties including BJP, Congress, CPI and NPP were present at the meeting. However, NPF and MPP skipped the meeting. <laughs> Political party high level like that na, CSO high level like Manipur ki the context the stakeholder over there. Koi puna mak amato ina, junction mina ba high level se dahi sida. Ta ngasi nipam na amato ina, yana bago loina na makha tapadadi. Aujhi political framework agreement se, a koi karigumbe hiram amata da, a koi machit na kai wafam like that Manipur apun bagi oina, a koi puna junction lagan da, a koi ngamkhai amasu manungi oiba apun bagi saktam masa, a koi puna ngami na ba ngamani high level thasa ba do, ngasi ki numi reshi dege koi da hiram makai di chau na. Ex-Chief Minister O. Ibobi said the Congress has been demanding to disclose the framework agreement signed between NSC and IM and Government of India to avoid another June 18 that occurred in 2011, sorry 2001 and to go against any threats to protect the historic 2000 years existence of integrity of Manipur. He was speaking at the protest demonstration staged at Lokam Lerag in Patsoi Assembly constituency demanding disclosure of framework agreement. The protest demonstration was organized by Patsoi Block Congress Committee. President of MPCC, T.N. Haukip, ex-Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, MLA of Patsoi Assembly Constituency, A.K. Mirabai, Congress MLAs, MPCC and members of Block Congress Committee attended the protest demonstration. President of MPCC, T.N. Haukip asserted that Chief Ministers of Nagaland, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur must join together as a family and discuss about improvement of law and order of northeastern states. He said, the agreement between NSC and IM and Government of India should not go against the people's desire of the four states when bringing a solution. Okram Ibovi further said the demand of Congress to disclose the framework agreement is because of the false assurance given by BJP government. He alleged that in order to achieve success in elections, BJP announced that it will not go with NPF but later the government was formed with the alliance of NPF. In spite of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's assurance to protect the territorial integrity of Manipur during election campaign, the present scenario had created confusion in the minds of the people. Besides, he questioned the reason behind the restriction imposed upon MLA Gai Kangam by NSC and IM and UNC. Ceasefire framework agreement here. Violet or the Pugayaga, Chiri Muiba, Manipur, the Santo Yaroi Hydra, Tinguba, purely administrative convenience key, Jiribam, Tangkopi, District Shemuba, Yaninga Tabak Tauru Sigi, Ibo Bichangada, Ukulda, 
Nomai kapsa ni bom langsir lagi. Hai budi cumi, aku yani ni macam ni kalau aku, mohon ni yani ni dapat khabar tu, aku ini tau bukan na. Ibu biaya dia hai oba, tampak tak cinga, lapuk nara me hai budi di. Isor lagi, maya mama negara ni tak ni apa, jasami le, sarmi le, sengar ni le, sena pati da, ukul da, tau ramai ber maya am do. Si cinga aku ini mari le, nanti cinga thaba am de tau ramai dengan hai ni. Cinga cakap hai ni, cinga anu bukari tau ramai apa. Spokesperson of MPCC, K. Joykishan, denounced the ban imposed by UNC upon Congress leader Gai Khangam to not enter Naga inhabited areas. Speaking to media persons at Congress Bhavan, he said, the Congress leader Gai Khangam is a person who has been supporting the oneness of both hills and valley people to save the integrity of Manipur. MLA Lokeshore and MLA Okram Henry also attended the press conference. Joykishan further said, People are aware that Congress is not pressured by the dictatorship of UNC and NSCN-IM. People are also aware of the steps taken up by BJP to come to power. In spite of the efforts to defeat the Congress, the success of nine MLAs from Hill districts in the 10th Manipur Assembly election is a proof that Congress is not pressured by the dictatorship of UNC and NSCN-IM. Congress will go against any threats to the integrity of Manipur. The assurance of Indian President Ramnath Kovin at the inauguration of Hornbin Festival yesterday that the settlement of Naga political issue is very near cannot be taken lightly. He questioned as to why any BJP leaders of Manipur could not affirm of not allowing two governments in the state publicly. The statement of a leader in the recent political conference of NPF that four MLAs of NPF are the wheels of BJP-led government indicated that the government is under the dictatorship of NPF. It is a need of the hour that all political parties unite together to save the integrity of Manipur, he added. Hoshik Manipur ki boundary change taruk pata UNC ni support tau bra. Manipur ki state manung da within the state the state ama semak pata UNC ni support tau bra. Natra ka administration ani khai daruk pata UNC ni support tau bra hai bese. Seng na ngang laga ay ki color se masini. NSN IM ama su UNC ama su BJP hai riba party ahu mase triangle ama ki mase yi nama nama ni makoye ni se pun na set minna bida hai bida. Kari mo lebi gaya bisa UNC ni sengdor o. UNC gumba hancak asak faba kangbu o mana mani putu gaya na bahu narak pada. Aikoi Congress Party na aikoi cingjau gumna lepten lagi na hai bisa UNC na kau peroi. Na koi diktat makada na koi yara bah political party kara na political power pain na bahu na pada. Aran bah thowong meyam cethar bahu mani put praja meyam galoi na na Congress Party na thengna raga. Hoji framework agreement da. Manipur Parsa Amaya Amda Kaya Gada Ba Nung Naang Gada Ba Laak Pa Ba Fung Kudim Ase Thang Naga Ni Hai Ba Se Masi Uyen Si Na Khang Jin Gada Ba Ni Unidentified rebels ambush Assam rifles at IC village bordering Myanmar in Kamjong district. According to news received from IS Assam Rifles, the incident happened around 5.30 in the morning when 31st Assam Rifles D Company team led by Major Jagannathan proceeded towards IC village to attend the medical camp. Three IEDs exploded consecutively at a distance of approximately 3.5 kilometers to the IC village. Assam Rifles also retaliated immediately. There were no casualties reported. Search operations were conducted at the spot. However, no organizations have claimed as to why the ambush was carried out so far. The denizens of Jiribam have been facing grave difficulties due to lack of nurses, doctors and equipment at the 50-bedded district hospital located at Jiribam Ningxing village. There were 22 doctors at the hospital when the hospital was located at Babupara Jiribam. Now it has been reduced to only seven doctors. Besides, many condemn the non-release of Dr. Rina's transfer order. A joint meeting of the Hospital Authority, Monitoring Committee, Civil Societies and local clubs located in the surrounding areas of the hospital on November 30 regarding the immoral incident that occurred in the hospital on November 29. The meeting unanimously condemned the act of some doctors who, against their professional ethics, laid their eyes on women. 
The meeting also adopted various resolutions including bringing out the hospital beds from the quarters and have them utilized for its real purpose. Ensuring that the doctors are morally correct, appointment of adequate number of doctors and nurses, updating the facilities of the hospital, etc. The civil societies and the denizens of Jiribam have warned of shutting the hospital down if their demands are not met at the earliest. A one-day public meeting of JCILPS has resolved to resume the ILPS agitation if passing of new ILPS bill is not assured. The public meeting was organized by the JCILPS at Lamyan Bashanglen at Palace Compound yesterday. The meeting discussed joint steps needed to, to be taken up in order to have the State Assembly pass a suitable ILPS bill. Leaders of various civil societies, including organizations based in hill areas, also attended the public meeting. The meeting unanimously adopted five different resolutions. The resolutions are joining hands between hills and valley people and carrying forward the ILPS agitation together, urging the State Legislative Assembly to pass an undisputed ILPS bill in the upcoming winter session, urging the State Government to give assurance that it will pass an ILPS bill in the winter session and the assurance should be given by December 8 launching intense steer on December 13 if the government fails to give the assurance by December 8 and submitting memorandum to the Chief Minister. Speaking at the People's Convention, convener of the JCILPS, Arjun Telhaiba, opined his views regarding the need for ILPS in the state. <laughs> A public demonstration of the electronic robot named John 17 developed by one T.H. Nandalal of Nambol Kabo Wakching, a student of class 11 science Johnston Higher Secondary School, was held at the school complex. Director of Education S. T. H. Kiran Kumar, Principal of the School K. Sangita, representatives of the Science Department, Manipur University, and many students attended the demonstration program. The robot that was built up using electronic waste and circuits performed works like a human being during the demonstration. Speaking at the demonstration, Director T. H. Kiran Kumar praised the innovative idea of T. H. Nandalal. The director also expressed his desire for the teachers to support T.H. Nandalal in his future endeavor. Nandalal's John 17 can even participate in national level science exhibition. The government of India has been recognizing new innovative skills in the field of technology. <laughs> Protest demonstration was staged at Lumfell supermarket against construction of a market complex for a single community by the government. Showing solidarity to the protest, all shops in and around the Lumpel supermarket remain closed. The protest demonstration was organized by Lumpel Supermarket Development Joint Action Committee. Many placards written, Marketplace should not be constructed for a single community. Government must understand the oneness of both hills and valley people, as well as cards for six to seven years old vendors must be distributed first were displayed at the protest demonstration. Convener of the JAC Subhas said, different communities residing in the state are selling their items since 2011 at the marketplace. Market complex must be constructed in such a way that different communities sell their products together. Besides, such activities will enhance love and harmony in the state. <laughs> Masih kumpul lagi awak nak kahani bah, ini mungkin sengsiya 
Kali mata kan kan tak biram tak bida, kau ini mau kau tak gigi, apa kau tiada masa agan ini sekarang kita cengang jadi ni, kita cengang sahabat tarik di, kau ini layar bawah jati, kau ini mukti jati, kau tahu tak, kau tahu mana ini sekarang apa apun kau tiada masa sabi, kau sekarang kau ini ngasih press media sini mama angda kau, kau ini hari ini bahaya tarik kau. Altogether, 28 branches of Renu Handloom and Handicraft Cooperative Society Limited were inaugurated today. The inaugural function was held at the Hotel Classic Grande today. Minister of Social Welfare Nemcha Kipgen, Political Advisor to the Chief Minister of Manipur Dr. R.K. Ranjan, Ex-Minister Dr. Kashim Ruiva, former Chairperson of IMC Moirangjao Gangmai and many others attended the inaugural function. The minister announced that 28 branches have been opened at various locations in nine districts of Manipur and Kohima in Nagaland. Speaking as the chief guest of the function, Minister Nemcha Kipgen said, It is a matter of pride that Arambam Renu has won two national awards in the field. The issue of unemployment can be reduced to a great extent if the handloom and handicraft sector is developed in the state. Employment problems are Cooperative society Members of Bangladesh Manipuri Adivasi Forum Bangladesh called on Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren at his office chamber. The nine-member delegation led by General Secretary of the Forum Somorjit Singha requested N. Biren to visit Bangladesh to which Chief Minister assured to visit Bangladesh in January next year to introspect the welfare and well-being of Manipuri living in Bangladesh. Imphal West Police Commando arrested a Lance Corporal of Prepak on November 29 during search operation conducted from Tangal to Hau Market. According to PRO of Police Department, the arrested person has been identified as Lashram Nauba, 27, son of late Sarat of Bisnupur Thiam Lekai, Ward No. 8, presently residing at Tera Amudok Lerak. Many items were seized from his possession. A team of Socialist Students Union of Manipur and Manipur Proletariat People's Democratic Union began house-to-house -house inspection along with media persons to ascertain if PGS items are being distributed to the beneficiaries properly. The campaign started today from Nambol Assembly constituency and came across beneficiaries who have not received PGS items under National Food Security Act for the last five to six months. The team also found irregularities in the number of months during which PDS items were distributed among neighbors of same ward. President of Manipur Proletariat People's Democratic Union, Namairapam Meghachandra, drew attention of the authority concern to check the irregularities and untimely distribution of PDS items. Apapun我们的 1-15 a three-day stakeholders training workshop come field consultation meeting under NMHS project has kicked off at the branch laboratory of Northeast Institute of Science and Technology CSIR Lamphelpat yesterday. The workshop come field consultation meeting jointly organized by Northeast Institute of Science and Technology CSIR Lamphelpat and GB Pan National Institute of Himalayan Environment and Sustainable Development Himachal Unit is being held on the topic Anthropogenic Impacts and Their Management Options in Different Ecosystems of the Indian Himalayan Region. Former Registrar of Manipur University Dr. R.K. Ranjan and Principal Scientist of GB Pan National Institute of Science and Technology Imphal Dr. H. Bir Kumar also attended the workshop. Speaking at the workshop, Dr. R.K. Ranjan emphasized on the need to research on the river systems in the state. Our ecosystems and behavior and morphology, flow pattern, 
Ban imposed by Marine Frontal Organization since yesterday on Imphal Moret Road has been called off. The ban was called off after the assurance given by Chief Engineer of Manipur State Rural Road Agency to complete the road repairing work within December 25. A team led by Bishnupur Range Forest Officer S. Ratan Kumar inspected the surroundings of Lok Tak Lake to stop catching of wildlife. Surroundings of Oina Mamang Oksoi Pat, Kaino Mamang Laisoi and Awang Soi Pat, Isok Naurem of Nambol Wahing Kuman and Sanjaybam were inspected during the visit. S. Ratan Kumar appealed to the people to stop trapping and poisoning of wildlife. Anybody who is found violating the rules will be punished under Wildlife Protection Act. Members of Oinam Municipal Council, Taubul Youth Development Association and members of Global Science Club Kojuman accompanied the inspection visit. Additional SP Lashram Priya Darshani inaugurated head office of HPL Architect at Tauda Babok Laikai on Tidim Road yesterday. Principal Architect of HPL Architect Yumnam Sanjeev said, The firm has been established to bring a solution for architecture for the people of Manipur. Additional SP Priya Darshani said, People must consult architecture before construction of office, hotel and houses to prevent from damage caused by natural disaster. <laughs> The car oiba, architectural solutions, the car oiba, the Mamma, La Pa, Kanda, Shiro, Fonsina, the public car, the smooth oiba, in a very nice way, the service, the Kudom Java, convenience, the Yamma, the Pajasinda, the name. The orientation program for the faculties of new Bachelor of Education, B.Ed., revised syllabus under Manipur University that began yesterday has been concluded at the college at Wangjing today. The orientation program was organized by the College of Teacher Education, IIE Wangjing. Principal of the college, N. Rajiv Kumar, and principal of ITTA, Sajiwa Dr. S. Gunadhar, also attended the closing of the two-day orientation program. Speaking at the closing function, and Rajiv Kumar said, the syllabus for B. Ed. course is often updated in Manipur. The orientation program for the faculties was organized to ensure that there is no room for confusion due to the semester system that has been introduced with the new syllabus. <laughs> Representatives of Lois Krishi Bigyan Kendra Thaubal under the guidance of ICAR New Delhi and Department of Agriculture, Government of Manipur organized a one-day Ravi crop cultivation training program today at the training hall of the organization. President of the organization, Tokjom Ojit, RK Lemisana of KVK Thaubal and N. Tomba were the resource persons at the training program. Three farmers of Kakching who produce abundance of crops were awarded cash prize by representatives of Lois at the program. Y. Somarendro bagged one Y Indu 2 and KHS Ibomcha 3 with cash prizes of 10,000, 8,000 and 6,000 respectively. Students and teachers of Department of Economics, Manipur University cleaned the surroundings of the department and also planted saplings today. Professor Amar Yumnam of the department said, the cleanliness drive was carried out as done every four or five months to keep the department neat and clean. 
Kamjong Youth Festival on the theme Promoting Tourism kicked off at Kamjong Public Ground yesterday. The festival is being jointly organized by Kamjong Katam Nao Long and Asian Highway 1. President of Icham Yuimi Haram, DIG of CRPS, Yofang Duipang, Major of 31st AR Chashat Krishna Dagar, Major R.S. Negi and President of Kamjong Katam Nao Long K. Ningkor attended the inaugural function. President of Icham Yumi Haram said, Kamjong is located at the border of Myanmar, has its natural beauty which attracts the people. He drew attention of the government to set up Kamjong as tourist place. <laughs> As part of the festival, varieties of cuisines of both Mitai and Tangkul and indigenous games were showcased during the festival. Story behind this. Now before we close, let's see the headlines once again. Representatives of all political parties and leaders of CSOs resolved to protect integrity of Manipur. Chief Minister O. Ibobi demands disclosure of framework agreement publicly to avoid another June 18. And unidentified rebels ambush AR personnel near IC village in Kamjong district. That's all for the moment and thank you for watching ISTV English News.